Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today is just gonna be a video to celebrate. I recently noticed that I hit 100 subscribers and it's really really surreal. So I just wanted to make this video to celebrate and just give back to you guys and to the community like all the love that you guys actually are giving to me. So first off I just want to start and say thank you so much everyone who is watching my videos who is commenting on my videos, who is interacting with me in any way. I just appreciate it so much. This is why I came to this platform. I just want to talk to people about what I'm reading and it's just so wonderful to have people actually answer to me and being interested in what I have to say and that I'm just not somehow shouting into the void and it's just the best of feelings and I'm always happy when I get a comment and I can chat to the person. So thanks so much guys for that. So I figured that since some of you people are actually watching me and are interested in what I have to say, I would just do a um, shout out video to shout out 10 booktubers that I watch and I really like and that are essentially smaller booktubers. So I would say they have something under 200 subscribers and basically I just think they should be watched way more. So let's get into it. So the first person I want to mention is Morgan Kraut. Now Morgan is a fellow French booktuber and she actually lives in the same region that I come from, which also makes it a big bonus point. <laughs> um, she reads a very varied set of genres everything from literary fiction to science fiction and she's just a really lovely person. I really like to chat to her in the comments. She always writes me some longer messages which I really like and I think just a lot more people should go and watch her. Next up is Sandra from Pull Down the Moon. She is just also a really lovely person. She reads also a lot from African authors or person of color. This is something I really appreciate. I always look out for what she thinks about the books that she has read. She also reads quite a lot of the genres that I like. She reads literary fiction, poetry, non-fiction. She also makes vlogs and she also occasionally talks about other things like skincare or TV shows. So yeah, she's great. You should check her out. Next we have Alex from Hooked on Books. I discovered her quite recently. And she doesn't actually have the same kind of taste as I, as I do. She reads a lot of uh, YA, which I usually don't read so much, and contemporary. But I just really like how she talks in her videos. She's very articulate and very clear in her reviews. And she also reads a lot from the library and audiobooks, which is always things that I think are really great. Next up is Erika from Erika Loves Books and she is from Australia. She doesn't do usual wrap-ups but she just reviews a certain set of books one at a time so whenever she finishes five books she just makes a review of the five books that she read recently. She reads quite a big variety of books also and there's quite a few books that she enjoys that I also enjoy so that's always nice to go to for recommendations and she just seems like a really sweet person and She's also very eloquent and her videos are quite chatty, which I quite enjoy also. Next we have Caffeinated Bookworm. She's a South African booktuber and she started not so long ago, I would say something like two months ago. And she reads a lot of biographies, nonfiction, memoirs, and I'm really, really looking forward to the next video she brings out because she also has some really good African authors recommendations. Then we have Dani from Current Chapter. She is from Brazil but I believe she is currently living in Canada. She reads a lot of YA but she also reads mystery and fantasy. She does quite a lot of single book reviews which I really like and really admire somehow and I just really like her energy. Then I want to mention Taryn Watson. She also is fairly new and she reads really broadly too. She also really likes mysteries and she really likes Agatha Christie, which is also always a big bonus point for me. But she also reads, for example, fantasy and sci-fi among other genres. She recently also made a really fun video where basically the viewers could pick her TBR for June through a poll in the video, which I thought was really cool. 
so definitely go and check her out and give her some love. Then we have Jenny from Bookish Shenanigans. She reads a lot of classics and literary fiction and our tastes intersect quite a lot, I believe. She comes across as a really funny person in her videos and I really enjoy that. It's also really interesting because she is a PhD student in literature and in general as a PhD student myself I really like to watch other PhD students and also their experience with the whole process. Then we have Sarah from Sarah La Flamme. She's such a sweet person. She's from the French-speaking part of Canada. I love her French accent as well. I don't share much of her tastes in books genre-wise, but she just has this funny and engaging way to do videos. And she always has these really cool tags and challenges that are so hilarious to watch. And she's also really, really lovely chatting in the comments. Also, we get to write in French in the comments, which I enjoy from time to time. The last person I want to mention is Kat from Cat Talks. She is a Brit who lives in Sweden and she's also a writer. So she talks about books, but also about writing. She reads a lot of fantasy and sci-fi and she has this really cool series called Read This If, where she reviews in a book from a certain perspective that she basically, at the end of the review, tries to find out who would be the perfect target audience for the book, which I think is kind of a interesting and really cool take on a book review. And yeah, she's great, so check her out also. Alright guys, these were the 10 booktubers that I wanted to do shoutouts to. I really really appreciate all your support of you watching my videos and commenting. Thank you so so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!